Happy New Year, everyone. This is my first video of 2024, and I'm excited to bring you part five of the 5B1C City Skylines 2 multiplayer collaboration. Today, we're gonna to build out a high density waterfront area surrounding the historic bridge linking these two separate cities together. We've decided to split this map into two parts. On one side of the river using the European theme, and on my side, we're using the North American style. In episode three, Teddy Radko had built this bridge to connect the two halves of the map. So I decided to take some inspiration from New York and San Francisco and bring in the first skyscrapers with a high density district welcoming commuters into the city. Imperial Jedi had built out this nice grid in the previous episode. So I'm going to expand on that into the peninsula here. But first we have to do some terrain work to make it look good. After getting a rough road layout, I placed the first landmark into the city, the Grand Hotel, which leveled us up to Great Town. I unlocked trams and the city hall, which I'm placing in this area to complement the Grand Hotel. It took a bit of rearranging things to get a building to fit, but eventually I got it. Next, I set up the tram system, with the depot off near the railroad tracks a bit out of the way, and I'm setting up the tram tracks to go along most of the major arterial roads. Although much of this already has buses, I'm setting up the tram stops to be further apart to provide longer distance and higher capacity service from the lower density suburbs and Slay 3 ks downtown which I imagine is the historic city center, over to this new area, which is more of a financial district and modern luxury housing, I suppose. I focused row housing and mixed use along the waterfront and completely surrounding and underneath the bridge, creating a really nice layered effect and then started zoning higher density further back. I was very lucky that the previous builders had handed me the save with a healthy amount of demand for each zoning type. So I commend Zardis, Slay 3K, Teddy Radko and Imperial Jedi for all of their hard work so far. I eventually unlocked the mixed use signature building, the Iron Press building. I thought it was the perfect addition to the waterfront along with these row homes. It just looks super cute here. Hotel, I did a small amount of detailing to create this little park space. Right now we aren't using any mods for this save so I don't have line tool. I'll have to place the trees and bushes manually. Although I am using two visual mods for the video to make things look a bit nicer and easier to see on YouTube. The mods are legacy flavor which makes the zoning squares transparent and preserve photo mode which lets me keep my photo mode settings in game to make everything a bit more bright and colorful. They don't have any impact on save games so it should be fine.
Next, I extended out the grid to the main road and continued development focusing mostly on high density business to simulate that it's sort of a financial and luxury retail district. Much of the area further inland is more mid-rise, medium density, and office type development, but with some high rises mixed in here and there. After completing development of the main peninsula, I felt that it could be nice to move on to the more hilly area next to it. I did flatten out the area directly along the shoreline but for the most part, I wanted to work with the terrain here so that we can get some nice layers of height. The key walls are still the most annoying part. They take a lot of effort to look good, but are worth it in the end to make a clean, professional, developed riverfront area. tried to use the grid tool to simulate the gridded hillside neighborhoods of San Francisco, but that didn't work very well and looked bad, so I just built roads that followed the natural contours of the terrain instead. I did have some issues with not enough water and sewage. So along the river, I added one water pump and then I used my development points to unlock the water treatment plant. I did put in some low density housing towards the top of the hill, but it didn't last long there. Later on, I ended up upzoning it when more demand for higher density came in. Take a moment to thank Zardis, Slay3K, Teddy Radko, and an Imperial Jedi for getting this build up and running. I'm going to be a regular on this series with the other four in addition to Canadian Moose plays, so I'll definitely be back into this build in a few weeks. I'll go ahead and post the playlist to the full series in the description. I know I took a little break over the holidays, and it's great to be back posting on YouTube and doing Cities content again. I do plan to continue my Cities 1 and Cities 2 series but I'm probably gonna post them at a slower pace and try to focus a little more on quality over quantity. And if you're new to my channel, check out this next video. I'm sure you'll love it.